system status dashboard. We have working trunks. We have extensions that currently aren't connected to any phones yet. And we have outbound routes and inbound routes. So calls can come in, calls can go out. We have voicemail set up. That's the basics of our system. At this point, your system is set up. It, it can function as of right now. Um, but there are some fine tuning items to look at. And right now I'm not going to teach you how to connect your phones to your extensions and go through all of those settings. But uh, that video will come in the future. For now, we just wanted to get you a working GrandStream system. But I am going to quickly go over the other miscellaneous settings that you will need to mess with. So we have opened our system up to the rest of the world. And that means that people can attack us if they want. Um, so we need to go to security settings, which is under system settings and security. And we need to turn on the ability to, to block people when they start to come in. So that's in security settings. It's called fail to ban. And you just have to turn it on. Um, I also turn on the Astro service and the login attack defense. So if people are trying to log in on port 89 or 5060. If you enable other ports, it'll activate those checkboxes as well. Um, if you know your SIP provider's IP address, um, you can enter the, in the whitelist. If you use the, uh, where is it? Service check. If you have used the service check, you need to come into here and whitelist yourself. Um, I usually whitelist a lot of things. Uh, for example, my local networks, I whitelist, that's my SIP provider. That's the other SIP provider. So this is PX1, this one's PX5. That's myself, in case I accidentally do that. But there's lots of, of things you can whitelist to protect yourself. If you have somebody out in the world that uh, is remotely connecting their phone in, you'll want to whitelist them so they can't accidentally get banned. But once you turn this on, anybody that attempts to, to, to log in and fails five times within 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes, and they're banned for 10 minutes. I usually change this one to 86400 because there's 86400 seconds in a day. And so it'll ban them for the whole day. Anybody that gets banned shows up down here. So that's how you block that particular side of things.